What's going on with Brunswick Corp? BC, the world's largest maker of recreational boats, along with boat engines, some exercise equipment. After rolling back from the Great Recession, Brunswick stock peaked early last year. It's had a hard time rallying since. I'm more of a function, it seems, of exercise equipment sales of late than of the much larger boating division. Let's take a closer look with Mark Schwaborough. He's the chairman and CEO of Brunswick Corporation. Learn more about the quarter and the company's prospects. Mr. Schwaborough, welcome to Mad Money. Good to see you, sir. Have a seat. Here. Thank you. Thanks for inviting me. All right, absolutely. All right, so it, it seems like a, a difficult situation for you. You're the only guy who's really making the numbers, all right, in the whole uh, big uh, time discretionary spending. And yet because of uh, what I, I kind of think is a funk, people are selling your stock. Uh, is that an accurate depiction of what you think is going on? Well, I think there's a number of things going on. The First of all, we get... We keep getting compared to a lot of other, other industries. So people will be looking at us against power sports, motorcycles, automobiles. Against, against Polaris, yeah. against Harley. You're beating them. But 50% of our company today is marine parts and accessories and fitness. So hardly all consumer products, as right. you would think about it. Well, uh, let's talk about the one that uh, was, that I thought was very small, but uh, dominated a lot of the conversation, which is the uh, Cybex retail, local, and federal government was something that people focused on. You've only had this acquisition for eight months, but some people made a judgment that maybe this was not a good acquisition. No, it's a it's an absolutely great acquisition, Jim. We uh, thought we could do one transformational acquisition in the uh, fitness space. So we were number one, and we bought number five. And as a result of that, we picked up a great brand, international, some unique products uh, as well. But the softness in the uh, particular quarter was a little bit about we haven't ramped the revenue up quite as good. We're right on target for the $0.08 cents EPS for the year and on target for the $0.20 by 2018. So the acquisition's doing what we want. And then where the softness was was a little in the, was that was across the fitness sector, a little more in local and federal government. But it's doing well on clubs, hospitality. Right. All those things are doing fine. But I, have, I mean, I have a Cybex, but I have to admit it's pricey. I mean, I went and, ch and checked a bunch of guys to be able to get the best right. price. This, it's not an inexpensive piece of equipment. Well, none of our equipment is. We're, right. we're really focused on the commercial business. So not so much the consumer. We're, we're selling to large clubs, places that are going to look for 24-7. 365 days. Okay, so tell me how the actual uh, boat business is doing worldwide, because some areas seem to be stronger than others. The United States seems very strong. Yeah, the United States is doing extremely well. We had projected and based our plans upon getting 3 to 5 percent growth, and we're seeing that. Uh, the data, if you go in and look at it for the last five years, fundamentally unit growth is around 5.2 percent. Revenue growth is around 8, because we're getting some ASP movement. Right. And, and so all those that. things are happening. On the global, it's more about a couple of markets. I don't think it'll surprise you. You know, we're, we're down in Brazil. Right. And also in, like, Africa, Middle East. They're small markets. But when a small market's down 25%, right. it turns Canada. in. Canada's, the retail's picked up a little bit. Oh, again, that's okay. But again, the wholesale side, uh, dealers are being fairly tight and conservative right. about the reordering. Now, do we have to worry about this uh, stern drive inboard? Is that just something that's just not coming back? I think it's. I think it's more a case, Jim, that the outboard engines have come so far. In fact, we'll get one of these days. You'll move up from that 90 on your whaler <laughs> I to love uh, my 90 to a new 90. You mean so I can go in the ocean? <laughs> well, to find out all the benefits. So fundamentally, the outboard technology and features have just moved so far. Uh, it's it's uh, displacing some of the stern drive. Stern drive still, it's a great application right. for certain situations. And we'll, when the market comes with that, it will be there with some great product. You know, I, I look at, uh, at the joy that I get from your product, and I think other people feel the same. And I look at the numbers that you have in the United States, and then I look at the groom that people have in the polls, and what I call the Melez, almost like a Jimmy Carter period. You and yep. I are old enough yep. to have lived through that yep. period, yep. the crisis of confidence. And the, the numbers and the spend don't jive. People do not feel as bad as the polls indicate. Do you think it could be politics? Well, I don't know. The, the market consumers don't like uncertainty, and we're certainly going through that this year. Hopefully in another week, some of that uncertainty is going to come off the table. But, but the fundamentals of the business, people who have the, you know, as we call the water gene or it's in their DNA, they want to fish, they want recreation, they want family time. 
and it's it's a phenomenal way to do it when you think about boating. Right. And when you go to the fitness side, people want to live long, healthy lives. No, do you think it's a we we happen to have a. a we have a company, Thor, that does very well. I, I think that your business is more comparable to that. And millennials like the experience yeah. of having a boat, right? right? So uh, absolutely, as the the younger audiences, it's more, it's not so much the ownership. And a lot of people keep thinking about boats as a rich man's product. Oh. It's only for the wealthy. Uh, we make products for middle-class America. Absolutely. Okay, that's terrific. That's Mark Schwaber. He's the chairman and CEO of Brunswick Corporation. Full disclosure, yes, I do have a Boston Whaler, and I do love it. Stick with Kramer. Booyah! Jim Kramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.